Hey guys, it's me again, and I hope that you guys are all doing well, staying out of this hot, hot heat that's just getting um, very hot, but that's the beautiful thing about summer, and that's one of the wonderful things that we have to look forward to in these seasons. It makes us appreciate fall a lot more. And guys, I am actually at youth camp this week as um, a cook for all of these crazy students that are down here, but it is a wonderful joy for me to be able to go and cook for them. Um, we cook about um, for about 100 people, and we cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner for them um, Monday through Friday, and it is just a wonderful blessing for us to be able to do that, and I am just so thankful to get to do that, and that can be my prayer request for this week, that you'll um, pray for me and our student pastor, who is down here, Evan, I mean, I'm sorry, Andrew, and his wife, Kimberly, and we have a camp pastor and the worship team that's down here, and I just pray that you'll... Um, just ask God to move through the youth that are down here, and I just th am thankful to have the opportunity to go and serve alongside them. So today we're going to actually move to the Old Testament in our stories. We've been learning about the acts of the early church, and now we're moving back to the Old Testament. And we're going to be in a Bible, I'm sorry, a book of the Bible today that is in the Old Testament, and it may not be one that you've heard of. Or if you have, you may actually have heard of a song. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard the song, Them bones, them bones gonna rise up. Them bones, them bones gonna rise up. You ever heard that song? You ever wonder where that silly song comes from? Well, it comes from the book of Ezekiel. And we're going to be in the book of Ezekiel, which is in the Old Testament. Today, we're actually going to learn about Ezekiel's call into the ministry. Now, I don't know if you've ever thought about a call or what that means. A lot of times we hear um, call used in baseball. Um, what was the call? Was it a ball? Was it a strike? Are you safe or was you out? Um, we see that even in um, animals, you know, like a bird's call or a mating call when one animal is trying to get the attention of another animal. But then also sometimes we talk about a phone call, right? A call. Well, when someone feels like they're supposed to go into a ministry to serve God, then we say that that is a call. It's when God speaks to them and says, I have a job for you. And our call today that we're going to hear about is Ezekiel. Now, I want us to think for a minute. When I say the word rainbow, what Bible story do we usually think of? Okay, I think that most of us probably said Noah and the ark. After the flood, God used the rainbow as a promise to um, tell Noah and remind him that he was never going to destroy the earth by flood again. But today, we're going to see in our story that that rainbow appears again. Now, I see rainbows all the time. Rainbow is a beautiful reminder of God's promise. And God uses this rainbow to call Ezekiel. Now, our story starts with a very cloudy, cloudy, just rainy, yucky day. Now, when I think of those days, it's hard for me to be kind of positive. Those are the days I like to just stay in bed and don't want to go anywhere. When it's rainy and just, we call it dreary. But on this day, a beautiful rainbow began to spread. It's art just spread all those beautiful colors. You know what they are? Red, orange, yellow, blue, I'm sorry, green, blue, indigo, purple. This beautiful color spread across the sky. And it was a picture of peace. And Ezekiel knew that rainbow was from God. See, God was showing Ezekiel in the rainbow that he had a promise to help save some people because he, Ezekiel would have known that that promise was also made when God um, showed it to Noah. See, God was reminding Ezekiel that he, he was still there and he had made a promise to his people. He wasn't going to turn his back on his people. See, God at this time actually was calling Ezekiel and God's spirit is entering Ezekiel to give his heart and mind strength. 
because at this time, God knew what he was going to ask Ezekiel to do. He needed his strength to do because Ezekiel was not going to be able to do it on his own. Ezekiel at this time realized something special was happening. God was speaking to him. He was in the presence of God. You know, we see this back in the Old Testament with Moses in the burning bush. And he had to take his sandals off because he said, you're on holy ground. So when God comes to talk to you and God is speaking to you, it's very, very powerful. So because of that, Ezekiel falls down and puts his face on the ground because he realizes, I am in the presence of the most holy God. And he even covers his face because he knew this message that God's given to him was going to be important. And Ezekiel was very humble. That means he's not thinking about what it's going to do to him. He's thinking about what God wants him to do. But God says, Ezekiel, stand up. I want you to be ready for what I'm telling you to do. So he starts to give God's words to him. Now, what God's sending Ezekiel to do is not going to be easy. And he starts off with kind of a message to Ezekiel that for us would kind of sound kind of harsh or almost discouraging because he says, the people you're going to are going to be very rude. They're not going to like hearing about the one true God. They're not going to want to hear what you're telling them. He said, they're not going to respect God, so they're not going to respect you. He said, I'm sending you to people that are going to be mean. They've turned their back on me and they're not going to be kind to you. But he says, don't be worried about the message I'm giving to you. Don't be afraid of their words. You're going to go give the message to the people and you don't have to worry if they listen or not. God told Ezekiel he's not going to judge him by how the people react. Listen to that. Ezekiel is supposed to go tell the message. He's not in charge of if the people listen to the message. He said, my words are to correct the ways of the people. They are living and they will not like it. He said, you're going to speak my words to them and you will obey me. Do not fear the people. I will be glorified. So see, God's given Ezekiel a very powerful message, a very important message. He's already warning them that they may not listen. But God says, Ezekiel, you obey me. You let me worry about how they're going to act. You know, this is just the beginning of our messages that we're going to hear about Ezekiel. And so this is just the first time that we see Ezekiel, Ezekiel listening to God. Because of this, we know that there's something powerful God's getting ready to do. So Ezekiel has a choice to make, to be obedient and listen to God, even though it's going to be very hard. And he's already telling them that the people are not going to be nice. When I read this story, it really reminded me of how we are called to be as Christ followers. You know, God tells us that we are supposed to tell the good news. That's why I do these lessons each week for you. That's why I um, have a backyard Bible club with some um, kids that I know down the street. That's why I try to look out for people around me that need to hear the good news. It's my job to share it. It's not my job to think about what they're going to do with it. He already tells him that people might be rude. You know, every time we tell the good news, not everybody wants to hear it. I see people say some really unkind things on Facebook, even about Christ followers. And it, it makes me want to just fuss at them and talk to them and say, how on earth could you say those ugly things about Christ followers? But then I realize they don't know Jesus. They can't understand what it is he can do for their lives. It's my job to share the good news and to pray for those people but I can't control whether or not they accept it. And that's where we see Ezekiel. He has a choice to make, to go and tell people who may not be kind to him the good news of what God is telling them. So we'll have to stay tuned next week to see what happens when he goes to tell the people that good news. 
Now, I've already shared my prayer request, and I'm sure that you have some too. We've learned how powerful prayer is, and we know that that's one of our best, best things we can do together. And in just a few short weeks, we'll be able to do that all together. Now, I want to give you a minute to share any requests that you may have. And let's just call those out. Now, I cannot wait to hear all these requests together. It's going to be so nice when we can share those all together, but you know God still hears each of our requests. So let's just bow our heads, and I'm going to pray one big prayer with us together. And like we've learned in the past weeks, we're joining together and saying one prayer to heaven. Dear Lord, I just thank you so much for your word, and I thank you for these powerful stories like Ezekiel to show that you have a plan for people that's way bigger than us. And all we have to do is obey what you're calling us to do. I thank you for Ezekiel and for his being obedient to go and tell these people the um, good news and the message that you shared. And I pray that you'll show us how to share the good news with those around us. I ask that you be with everyone at student camp this week and that you'll be able to be um, see the message of your son spread throughout this camp that you'll give the camp pastor and um, Andrew and the musicians and all the small group leaders just your voice to speak and that you'll just um, move in the hearts of these youth so that they can do powerful things for you this week when we get back to Anderson and there'll be lives changed. And I thank you so much for the opportunity to get back with our special friends in just a few weeks. I pray you continue to prepare us and watch over each of these friends while we're absent from each other. In your awesome and holy name, I pray. Amen. Now, don't forget to pull out one of your July crafts and go ahead and do one of those today. And I love to see some pictures of those. So if you have any, please post those and share those with us. Until then, bye.